keep it really simple and encourage people to take up boxing training to improve, to conquer your anxiety, your social anxiety, your depression, uh, mental health problems or challenges. Taking up boxing, as you can see, it's the real deal, it builds confidence. You're in a nice environment with nice people. I want to inspire people in this documentary so don't feel intimidated to come into a boxing gym because a lot of people who follow me on YouTube they've got bad social anxiety and I used to have really bad social anxiety too. I still experience social anxiety from time to time. So doing something like boxing, it really helps you to find yourself and it builds confidence, it builds discipline, it builds self-respect. It makes you appreciate other people more. It improves fitness. It helps you with your addictions. You can quit porn, any sort of negative addiction. So another thing that boxing training does that's really good, and what we're doing, pad work, which you can do with your partner, or any other exercise, especially it's pad work, what it teaches you is, it teaches you uh, how to have more courage in your life. So if you're afraid to go to job interviews, doing boxing training will give you more confidence. If you ever got a fear of people, social anxiety, doing the training and the lifestyle discipline of boxing will make you more socially confident, more open, more relaxed in yourself. It really, and it builds self-discipline, it, it calms the mind down, stops you from being in your head and analysing so much. It gets you in the body, gets you present, and it gets you physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually strong. So, try it, try it yourself, push through your fears. Years ago, I, I was scared to come into a boxing gym. I faced my fear at 20 years of age. I went down into a boxing gym, started training, it changed my life. And I love boxing. Even if you don't want to become a boxer or a world champion or professional, it doesn't matter. It's the training, the discipline, the art that will change your life. Helping every river, especially if you lack confidence of women and you're shy, boxing training will build confidence to speak to a woman. Another thing uh, boxing has, teaches you and it's taught me and I want to share it with other people. And it's very important guys that you try this for yourself because it's all good and well watching me do the training and I'm really grateful people are watching me because this is something that I love. I'm so passionate about boxing, I could cry. I'm not going to cry, don't worry. So I want you to experience it. The same as what I was taught guys of going out and meeting women. You have to experience it. So if it's too overwhelming for you to go on your own, get a friend or speak to someone in the gym, tell them that you're struggling with shyness and anxiety. There's always nice people in the boxing gym. They'll help you, they'll show you the basics. And stop worrying about how you look, just get started. It doesn't matter what level you're at. Boxing gym is open for everyone. Boxing teaches you not to quit in life. Let's be honest, most people quit. When we get challenges in relationships, in finances, in our, in our education, or, or depression or anxiety, we tend to quit. When you train boxing, it builds that inner courage. It builds your spirit. So it's, this is more important than muscles and six packs. That's a bonus, and that's all good and well. But what's more valuable is your mental health. Boxing improves mental health. Boxing training increases confidence, increases self-esteem, lowers uh, risk of more addiction, and, and you meet great people as well. You'll probably meet some of your best friends in the boxing gym, and it gives you a goal to aim for in life. You know, when you have a goal in life, it keeps us happy, it keeps us focused. Boxing teaches you how to be focused, so, so many lessons, but I want you guys to try it. just has a way of taking your ego away. Uh, kind of the environment, I would say, doesn't really tolerate this sort of behavior. So it's very good because that's what causes most people bother. I know it's certainly been my challenge. It keeps your ego in check, it makes you humble, and it makes you express yourself when you go to the gym. I, this is what I believe, you can choose what you want to be, but I think you should be yourself. It's good to get inspired by other boxers, but express yourself however you do that, however you punch. Um, you can learn, obviously, the textbook rules of boxing, but it teaches you how to be yourself more. It makes you humble, especially, when, and it's hard, the training is hard, and it's supposed to be hard, you know, I feel, 
you know, you're going to feel almost like you're going to throw up when you first start, but it gets easier and you start to enjoy it. So that discomfort and pain, most of us want to avoid in our life, changing jobs, getting a new girlfriend, going on social media, starting new projects, traveling, improving our finances, improving our relationships. If we can handle the pain and discomfort of boxing, it, you can transfer that strength into every area of your life. One thing I, I wanted to recommend you do, and this is what I did when I first started coming to the boxing gym and getting involved in training and keeping fit. And I know it's hard for shy people because I'm naturally coming from a shy place myself and very sort of introverted and quite socially anxious in new social situations. So go into the gym, do a little bit of training, and then when you get a little bit warmed up, just go around and just you know just say hello to a couple of people. You don't have to have long conversations. And what that'll do is gets you more used to talking to people. So the actual boxing gym is a great environment for you to practice your social anxiety and bring your social anxiety down. So the message of this video, there's quite a few messages, it's mainly to encourage people, the only way I've found to overcome fear, conquer any fear, social anxiety, or life fear, could be the smallest fear, biggest fear, you have to face it. The longer you run from it, the worse it gets. And what they call in psychology, they call it exposure therapy, and you become more desensitized. So it's not like my social anxiety is completely gone, or my fear's gone, it hasn't. I just deal with it so much better than I used to, and now I can live a free life, and I want to inspire other people to do that. And I just want to give a message that you can do it, because I know when I was in a bad place, it's hard when you have a lot of nasty inner thoughts telling you that you're not good enough, and you can't do it, and, it's, and you're always going to be like, that's not true. If you start training in boxing, it will give you confidence and it will spread into all your social interactions. So just start being social and that's, this gym's new to me, but Adam brought me down here, I'm friends with him. I've said hello to the owner, I've said hello to a few people and people appreciate that. You don't have to have long conversations, you can, when you're in the changing room. Oh, these little things really help, so. Easy work, it's so fun. You see, you can enjoy suffering, I told you guys. Now honestly, I'm not joking. Every time I do a boxing session, and I hope one of you guys to experience this, or girls, I always learn something new about myself, honestly, which is how attractive and handsome I am. Joke. Uh, you, always learn, you always learn new things about yourself, and what I always learn is, we can always push, we can do more, we can achieve more, we can push more, uh, we can take more pain than, than we realise. This is a great bit and I always love this part and I really want you guys or anyone to experience this when you finish your workout and you're sweaty and then you, you know, forget looking pretty, you've, you've really, what, you've achieved something and then you feel like, you just feel 10 times better than you did when you first came in. So it doesn't really matter how nervous or, or anxious you are, it's pushing through it and boxing training teaches you that life isn't always comfortable like going on the pads hitting the bag training it's it isn't and it's not supposed to even though we all kind of want that there's no there's no real appreciation so boxing boxing makes made me appreciate life appreciate people and uh, the satisfaction you get that's like the closest word i could use um, without going very deep because i can you, you you feel satisfied when you come out and I know I get a lot of questions from men, this is a bit off topic, always asking me how do I quit porn, take up boxing, because the satisfaction you get from training, something that is you know, integral, makes you feel good, uh, is gonna keep you away from the addictions like porn or any negative addiction. So the, uh, most of this is common sense really, but I suppose my challenge as a teacher and a mentor, and a person, is to, in, is to encourage people to get themselves to confront their fear. And uh, you know, boxing is mentorship. And that's what the, the future and the brand of Johnny Burber is, is about giving people that support and mentorship that they need to get them over those challenges, over those anxieties until they've got enough confidence and then you, know, you don't need a mentor for life or a teacher or a guru. You've built that self-confidence in yourself and then you can take that into any area. So you know, instead of focusing on how tough it's gonna to be, think about how good you're gonna feel after. And this is a philosophy that I've learned in life, and I'll be honest, I, I probably wouldn't 
have had the confidence to go out and approach women and teach and, and get over my own social anxiety if I hadn't done boxing years ago and now I've reconnected with it. I just, I just love boxing. Boxing has gave me so much and I just want to give back and say thanks and all of the fighters that I've grown up watching, they've given me, I don't think people realise how much you can give another person. So it's inspiring. So um, now we're going to do some weight training. This is something that I've always incorporated in my workouts. You could do that as well. So for those of you, if boxing is completely not for you, weight training will be great. We're going to go in the, in the weight room now and we're going to work out and continue. So thank you for watching. Adding the weight training with the boxing is, is really good for strength and fitness training. And it's just another thing to build your confidence. <coughs> now, <coughs> you don't have to do you don't have to do the weight training. Uh, you can just do the boxing training, and usually that's enough. If you want to, um, if you want a different experience, adding on the weight training after the boxing is really good. Um, but the main thing, as I said, is taking action. Because what I found years ago with uh, social anxiety and fear and all these struggles that I had before I started helping other people, reading books, it, wasn't, it doesn't do anything. It just, all you do is take information, but that information doesn't actually convert to real confidence. So the experience of going to a boxing gym and training and the experience of weight training, that, that is so much more valuable than just getting a book and reading. Because you don't sweat when you read a book. You don't burn calories. You don't really get the fight or flight um, trigger of anxiety and adrenaline. So there's no growth in reading books unless you just want to develop intellectually. That has its place, but that doesn't work, I think, in the area of personal development, confidence, dating, relationships. So confidence comes from the real experience of actually doing something. So the message is really simple, whatever you're frightened of, confront it. And if you confront it many times, it gets easier and easier. And that goes throughout public speaking, talking to people, talking to women, talking on social media, talking in front of a camera, anything you want to achieve. Everything I always did by just throwing myself in. And so, you know, you're going to fail along the way, you're going to make mistakes, but you're going to learn. And those failures are going to add up to success. So all of this, for me, um, this is all about getting my mental health uh, as best as I can get it, maintaining the good mental health, keeping the demons away. And I really want to inspire people, because I know a lot of people suffer this, I know I do. Those inner voices, you know, the voices that plague a lot of us, that we're not good enough, that we can't do it. Voices of shame, voices of embarrassment, voices of insecurity, voices of anger. This sort of training calms those voices down and it, um, helps you to find yourself with the confidence. That's, it will give you so much. Like I said, I don't want people to make the excuses and say I'm not a bodybuilder. You don't need to be a bodybuilder to lift weights or I'm not a professional boxer. You don't need to be a professional boxer. You don't need to be qualified in this. All you need to do is go and do it and you'll get better as you go along. And you never know where this is going to lead you. You might end up being a bodybuilder. You might end up being a boxing champion. A lot of boxers who didn't even, they started just to get fit and lose weight. They didn't know they were talented. So doing all these things brings out talents that you probably don't even know that you, you have, that you had, or have, sorry. So it connects you to your potential, helps you to find purpose, helps you to find meaning, and um, um, it may not look like it now, because obviously I'm knackered and my face is serious, but inside there is a real happiness, there is a, there is a real quiet peace. And I know a lot of people uh, are spiritual, I'm spiritual, uh, well, it's, um, it's hard to explain spirituality, it means different people, but spiritually I feel good about myself I feel that connection that deep inner connection people call it your inner self or doing inner work so all of this outer work weight training hitting pads boxing talking to people is what it's on the inside of course we can't see the inside we can see the physical we can see how our body looks and our face but we know there's only so much value in that that's obviously all the ego stuff what you can't see is the most precious but you can feel it you can feel when someone is confident and feeling good and being a good person, you'll feel that in yourself. And of course, 
I get a lot of men writing to me saying that they worry that they think they're ugly and not attractive. All of this exit, this training will make you more attractive. One of the things as well, there's loads of things that I love about training. It does expose you, it does expose your emotions and I think all of us are afraid of that, I know I am. So, you know, me being filmed as well and you know, showing all of my emotions and my facial expressions and all of those struggles that we have. But it's good, because when we bring those struggles out and those emotions, it's therapy, it's therapeutic. We can wash out our frustration, our anger, the pain that we've, we've been through in the past and things that are the day-to-day -day challenges. So instead of taking out on other people, you can take it out in a positive way. So this really helps, especially I get a lot of men writing to me, younger men and older, who are quite angry because they've been bullied. I know how that feels. So training, it channels that anger, that aggression or jealousy or uh, paranoia or uh, depression in a positive way. It gets all out and then you feel great after. And like I said earlier back then, I always get like a, a really peaceful feeling after. Like it's like I, I don't even want to feel like speaking to people. I feel so, just relax and centered in my own uh, skin and presence it's a it's, it's a it's a it's a feeling of peace and i think we're all we're all trying to find peace and boxing training and weight training physical training is a great way to find peace in yourself Finish. really appreciate you for watching this uh a short documentary and uh i, I enjoyed it and uh hopefully uh, this will inspire you to take up boxing and to face your fear of whatever your fear is, social anxiety or life fears or any fear or fear of going to the gym. I would be really happy if just one person watched this documentary and went down to their local boxing gym, even if you don't live in London, anywhere around the world, and just did a, a session and experienced that great feeling that I experienced and I've always experienced. So. Um, if you guys want to help me out more, you can share this video, like, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, make sure you check out the new videos that are coming. They're all going to be inspiring um, people that are struggling with anxiety to build their confidence through taking action and actually going out and experiencing things. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share the love. I love boxing. So I just want to say thank you for what boxing has gave me because when, when I've been at my most lows in my life, boxing has always lifted me out of those lows and got me confident again. So. Uh, a quick uh, shout to let's raise some um, positive awareness on mental health because I know there's a lot of stuff out there, people are doing great stuff but usually when you hear the term mental health it gets a negative light. I want to put a positive spin on it. Like I said in my last video, um, using your mental health challenges as a way of going forward can, can totally change your life. So let's um, put some positive light on mental health and let's inspire, I know mostly men that watch my videos, but women also like my stuff, so whoever this can help. And um, the message is take action, face your fear, build your confidence, and see what it does for you, because this is my experience. So your experience might be completely different to mine, but it's gonna be a similar experience in that. You're gonna feel good. You're gonna feel good when you come out of the boxing gym. You're gonna feel like a better man, you feel like a new man every time you come out and it grows you and uh, you know don't get caught up in reading the books and the theory actually take and just see where it leads you might do one session and you never come back again you might do a session and you're trained for years so enjoy the process and i'll see you in the next video and as always i really appreciate the support and i also appreciate the critics as well the hate the criticism all of it helps me to be a better man work on myself and to put out a positive message bye